Ram can have so many wives. Then she again came to Lakshman. Again, uh, Lakshman, uh, Ram. But Ram told, Oh, I cannot go. Better you should go to my younger brother. Then she was rejected by Ram. Again came Lakshman. And then came to Ram. And thus she was upset. And he wanted to kill Sita. But Ram told, Oh, take off his nose and Yes. And he does. So Gopi is telling. Gopi is accusing Ram. Why he did so? Why he did so? He was lusty. To please his that why he wanted to cut. And that is why. Her nose. Why he cut? He would have humbly told that. Oh, I cannot do this. And he was cutting joke with that lady. And that is why he became serious. He would have rejected that, oh, I cannot do this. You should go to your husband or anyone. But why he did so? He was cruel. And third, Bali Bhaman. What he did? He took all things all the positions of Balimahar. And what he did? He binded him in North Palm. Snake rope. And then he was weeping. Anyhow, Oprahad and Brahma came and then, uh, what you are doing? <laughs> and then he... So all the blacks are like this. But there is some deep, we have no time to describe all this. So come to our subject. So, uh, so Ram Nam, Ram for Ram and Ram for Krishna. Here in this Mahamantra, Hare Krishna and Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Radhika. And Ram Radha Raman Krishna is wrong. Same thing. Radha Raman Krishna is called wrong. So Hare Ram Radha Krishna. So three Ram Nam is equal to one Krishna. I am not telling. Who is telling? Shastri is telling. Puran Sartre, like this. Vishnu Puran. Three name, Ram name is equal to, but not that Ram, Radha Raman Ram. This Ram Nam is equal to Krishna, sometimes more than Krishna Nam, Radha Raman. So there are so many things. So Haridas Thakur. Haridas Thakur has four qualities. Trinadapi Suni Chena. Tarorapi sahi sununa amanina manadena kirtaniya sadahari. You know, Trinadapi sunish. How he sunish? Oh, we, any example? Oh, he used to think that I am Muslim. I am not qualified to go to temple. He never used to come on the streets of, many streets of Jagannathpur. Why? Or Trinadapi You know, that once he was in Shantipur and Advaita charged forcibly took me to his house and wanted to give honor. What honor? That all his relatives were assembled there and it was day of the short the day of their forefathers. And he wanted to give the first gift to Haidasai. It should be it was to be given to any high class of respected person. But Haridas Thakur was brought there and forcibly Advaita Charya. And he began to wait, I'm not qualified, I'm a Muslim. But yet what Advaita Charya told. 
if I am giving you this offering, oh, this would be the best thing in the whole universe. My all products will be liberated if you are taking this. Then whole relatives, they walked out from there. We don't like her, um, Advaita Acharya. She is out of our cause. Then he told that, I don't, don't care. Don't care how you can go. I want bhakti only, not you. You can go. You are foolish person. But afterwards, they get, again they return back and they fell flat on the Lord. Advaita Chan and also to Haridas Thakur. Haridas Thakur is out of call. Paramahansa. He is oh, more superior than Paramahansa. Like Prahad Maharaj. So we should try to follow this Haridas Thakur. Always chanting and knowing. Tena Dapi Sunita. Taro Rapi Sahis Sununa. How? Can you throw? Oh, you, you, you. Huh? Can you prove? Yeah. How? Shila Haira Sako was very, very popular. And the Muslim king, he was thinking, this Haridas Thakur is giving very bad reputation to Islam. He's born in a Muslim family. Why is he chanting the name of the Hindu God? So he called him to his council. And there he threatened him. Oh, you should not chant the name of Krishna anymore. You should be a very a good Muslim and chant the name of Allah. So if you don't do this, then there will be a very severe punishment for you. So the Haridas Thakur, he replied, Kanda kanda haideya jaya jari pran Thabo ami bodhani na chode hari nam My dear sir, you may cut my body into thousands of pieces and I may give up my life. But my tongue cannot give up the chanting of this name Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare So then the king he ordered that Haridas Thakur he should be beaten in 22 Marketplaces. Oh yes, so here what you are con counting. Oh my dear friend, what you are counting. You should hear this process. Better you should give your ears to this Harikatha. <laughs> what you are counting here? Zero, 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 how, what? Oh, how many zeros? <laughs> oh, you should hear attentively. <laughs> Don't give your mind here and there. So then, the soldiers, they took Haridas Thakur to the marketplace and they had very, very strong and powerful whips and they were beating him. Usually, in one marketplace, someone will die. Why? Because this beating is so severe, first the skin breaks and then it's cut and then the skin and blood and flesh starts to come off. And they were beating him, one marketplace, another marketplace, another marketplace, until there was no skin, no flesh, no blood, only bones, even bones were broken, and dragging him. But like a miracle, this name was still coming, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. They couldn't believe it. And at the same time, while they were beating him, sometimes Haridas Thakur, he would look towards them and smile very compassionately. He would see that they were sweating and sweating from the hard labor of thrashing him. And he would say, Oh, I hope that your arms are not feeling so much pain from all of this beating. Very, very humble. After some time, they, they, were, they became afraid. And they thought, if he doesn't die, then the king will kill us. And they came to him and said, the, they revealed this. The king will kill us if you don't die. Haridas Thakur said, Oh, I don't want to give any trouble or inconvenience to others. So now you've told me, oh, I shall die at once. And he went into Samadhi like a trance, and then it seemed that he had passed away. So then they took his body and threw it in the, in the Ganges. But the very next moment he came out from the Ganges, and his body was strong and healthy again. So this is the power of Harinam. If anyone can chant Harinam, then, or oh, as Lord Brahma himself has said before, now Lord Brahma has come in the form of Haridas Thakur and Prahlad Maharaj both. Prahlad Maharaj was beaten, 
and put through so many tortures by his father, but he never complained or became disturbed. And Lord Brahma, he has said, Tate nukampam susamit shamano bunjana evatma kritam vipakam ridvad vapuvi vidadana masse jiveta yo mukti pade sadayabak. Oh, it is only a matter of time, very short time indeed, when a person will attain the shelter of the lotus feet of Krishna. What kind of person? That person who in the midst of all kinds of difficulties, problems, and adverse conditions, he says to himself, Oh, this is not your fault, not your fault. You are not beating me. My own karma is beating me. I have done it myself. This is my fault. And one who very patiently tolerates all difficulties, considering himself to be the fault of all problems, and at the same time, takes shelter by body, mind, of, and words of the lotus feet of Krishna, then that person, very easily, they will come, to Krishna's eternal service and be happy forever. So, Chaitanya Avatare Bahe Prima Mita Vanna. Swabaji, Premi Bhase Tukli Haiya. To Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, past time, oh, a devotee like Saruk Dhamma, Raya Dhamma, Sikhi Maiti. Madhvi Devi. Pundarit Vidyanadi. A devotee like of Bhakreshwar Tandi. All the like uh, Sri Gopinath Acharya, Kasinath Vipra, Bani Nath, Morobar, Govinda, or Guru, Gopal Guru. And all the uh, Gaudiya Bhakta like Haridat Sivananda Sen. Raghav Pandit, Kapi Purdu was a small boy. Oh, damn thing. Especially Rukh Sanatana and all with their Ravana Das Kushan, Hai Gastha. With them, Mahaprabhu was playing fast time. So at that time, Chaitanya Avatare Bahet, Prima Amrita Banya. What? Oh, the flood of Prem, Brija Prem was there. Everywhere, webs and webs were everywhere. A banya jena bhase. Still, that banya is going on. Still, hmm? only those who are fortunate they can take bath in that. Hmm? That flood. A banya jena bhase sei hoyla. Sir, what can you? In this banya, those who are not Taking bow. They are what? Very unfortunate. Shar means wretched, fallen, are so many things. Hmm? So, koti kalpe tabe nahin tahar nita. If you are not taking bath in that flood of love and affection of Satan and Mahaprabhu, then Thousand and thousands of birth yoga will go in in pain. You cannot have anything. So in this human form, you are very near to that flood of nearly only four or five hundred years. But it's still wet are coming so much. So try to say more in this. And be very fortunate to have very easily. We can, we are helping you. Swamiji came to help you. That give up all these bogus things that you are thinking that they can give me happiness. Never and never wealth cannot give you any, any happiness. Your all relatives cannot give anything. Your this oh very high class of house. Having so many facilities, or oh, with a switch, back latrine will come, or oh, any switch, your restroom will come, or oh, any switch, or oh, kitchen room will come, or oh, your dust, this will come, or oh, your office will come. Hmm? So all the facilities, all oh, give up all these facilities, they cannot give you any help. Play chant name like Haridas Thakur and be 
From today, not today, just now. And they should chant. Always, without any interruption. interruption. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare 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 your song, your own song. Very Hare Hare More, 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare Oh one thing more in the last days of Haridas Thakur. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to go daily to him to give his darshan with his all associates. Just after oh, morning Aarti of Jagannath Dev. And he used to send so much prasadam, Mahaprasadam for Haridas Thakur throw the hands of Govind, his own servant or what? Disciple or what? One day, <coughs> Govind took some prasadam and went to him. But he told that ah, today I am feeling very sick. I am doing pranam and he took a piece of small and he took it and oh he became worried and he returned back to Mahaprabhu and told that oh I went with prasadam to serve him but he telling I am some, feeling some sickness I think that uh, oh he is not in what feeling health, good health Mahaprabhu next day oh with his all associates Sarsamoda, Raya Ramananda and all others. He went there <laughs> and he said to her Das Thakur yeah, and told this, Oh, how you are feeling? Oh, I am some, feeling some sickness. What sickness is there? Sickness is that. By body I am okay. 
Well, what? I have not completed by chanting name. Well, three lakh. I cannot count. My hands are not. And I cannot. So this is my yoga. Can you try to be like this? We should try to be like this. So this is only one that, that we have no trust in chanting them and we are not doing. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Us. Oh. Now you are perfect. No need of chanting so much. As much as you can do, you should do. Hmm? Hmm. But he told that, I don't want to live in this world. No. I know that very soon you will disappear from this world. I don't want to see this very pathetic scene. I want that I should, my head should be in your lap. I will see your face, gold, gold. And I should chant Gauranganin, Satinandan Gauranganin. And I want to give up this place. Mahaprabhu told him that my all pastimes with you, oh, if no my associates like you, no person. Oh, don't me, don't me be alone in this world. I want that you should not do. But he again and again said, I don't want to see this. That it is seen, so please be merciful to me. Then Mahaprabhu assembled oh, all the Sarup Damodar, Raya Ramananda with so many mazans and so and karta. He began to do parikama of Hari Dasthatu, Obit Kirtan. Hari Hare Nama Krishna Jadavai Nama Jadavai Nama Parmanit. And then Mahaprabhu told, those who were singing there hmm? and those who had done parikrama of Haridas Thakur, those who are doing anything, even giving one hand cup of hand even, and those who are in this, and those who are in this festival, this is festival of Haridas Thakur, Dira Maha they collected some Viksha from Govinda market, all began to give, oh, hold their socks. Mm. But Mahaprabhu and Sarup Damodar told, we don't want, very small, small. From each shopkeeper they took one, one, uh, like from somewhere Rai, on the, uh, <coughs> from somewhere dal, somewhere vegetable, somewhere rabadi, kheer, Oh, so many sweet rice, so many things, and it becomes sufficient. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself began to this to But some of Sarup Namoda and all others requested him. If you are not sitting and not taking anyone, nothing, then Mahaprabhu said. And then he began to say, Mahaprasade, Govinde, Namo Brahmani Vaishrave Sāpakum Navatandāya Vishwaso Daiva Jāyate Vishwaso Daiva Jāyate Mahaprasād ki jai Harinām Sankirtan ki jai Silahai Dās Thakur ki jai Samavet Bhakta Vrinda ki jai Baur Prima Shilajami Devi ki Costly, very, very costly. They made that temple. Very costly. Nyai, new Vrindavan. If it is okay, no controversy or no opposition, so we should go to help them all. And if opposition, I will not go. I want always their welfare. <coughs> oh. Oh, explaining Chaitanya Chaitamrit. Yesterday, we glorified Srila Haridastha. 
in so many respects. If you want to chant, oh, you should pray for the mercy of Siddha Haridas Thakur. And try to oh, follow his instructions. And how he was humble, tolerant, or he was the embodiment of Tena Dapi Suni Chena Taru Rapi Sahisuna Amanina Manadina Krishna. And that is why Mahaprabhu, he being oh, coming from Muslim community, but even he gave the title of Namachar. Well, not <coughs> only preaching, but practicing also himself. One can preach, but not following, then his karma. Where is it? that Prabhu? This is the Dhamma. Oh. What I told Prabhu just now? Uh, Harry Das Thakur was the embodiment of the Kitaniya Siddhartha reverse. What more? I uh, 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 Mahaprabhu glorified him. That one who does not, who does not practice, but only preaching, he is totally karmic. No? And who is practicing bhakti job but not preaching? Or oh, anyhow he is Vaishnava. We should try to honor. But those who are preaching and at the same time practicing bhakti job fully, oh they are oh, really Vaishnava. Those who are not, uh, not uh, preaching, practicing themselves, being in very solitary place. Oh, they are good ones. But they have no so much mercy for others. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself did. All his devotees, Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami, up to Sila Bhakti, Siddhan, Parsati Goswami, his disciples, my Guru Dev Swami Ji, all they did. So both but not that you should give the practice and only preaching, then you will be karmi and you are bound to go down. No? So don't do this. You should first be guru, practice, and then have some realization. Don't jump to ocean before you know swimming. Don't do it. So first you should. So you should practice yourself. Oh, you are not bound to do only fifth, sixth in rounds. Never. Go on doing more. Hmm? Develop your Krishna consciousness. Hmm? Try to have a whole, very high class of association. Without association you will be weak and you will give up all these things. I have seen so many disciples, senior disciples of Swamiji. Hmm? What doing? Oh no. Not putting steel up. No sign of devotees. Sometimes they chant, sometimes they not. Very weak. Now they are engaging whole energy in making money. Hmm? They have forgotten the, uh, uh, the instructions of their guru. They think that he has passed, no one is to look after. Oh, he is so you should not think like that. Bhakti is like a current. Current. It cannot stop. So if your bhakti is not like a current going and developing Krishna consciousness, oh, there is some loophole. Try to correct it. Otherwise, the water will be rotten. That is when bhakti will be rotten and it will change into sense gratification as we see thousand and thousand of Pantishas. So I have come to help them and to, re- what, to 
Remind them. They should not be weak. They should chant <coughs> what they were chanting or twenty years before, sixteen rounds. Even they are chanting sixteen rounds. So where is development? Where? So we should try to know all this. Chant more. You will gain more. If you want money, all money will come. If you want with anything, it will come, as I told you. So you should do. Don't give your whole energy in business, making money. Don't make bhakti business. Understand? Don't make a group of singers very good in style and going here and then, or singing here and then, in a very beautiful way. Why? To make money. Or oh, this is selling of Harya. It is big offense. Don't make a group like this. Without our own self, you should preach here and there in a humble way. You should not sell your Harikatha. Don't sell. Or that you will be like Indian what? Musician. Orators. Ah, they do like this. Everywhere they sell their. Oh, how much pranam you will give, then I will go. At least one lakh rupees you should deposit and then I will tell seven days Harikatha. Not like this. We should follow our Guru Bhargava. Srila Prabhupada, Srila Bhakti Siddhan Sarpati Thakur, Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Rup Goswami, Sanatam Goswami, we should follow. Hmm? So, <coughs> today, uh, so yesterday we were glorified Haridas Thakur in all ways. Hmm? We should try to follow him. If you want to chant her name with love and affection, to have prem, hmm? to have bhav, mood, rati, then you should follow Haridashtha. Then we are coming today on the life of Srila Rup Goswami. You know, Rup Goswami, Sanatan Goswami and Balla, there were three brothers in Bengal. In Brahman family, very intelligent, very intelligent. Hmm? They were very learned in Sanskrit, in Bengali, in Hindi, especially in Sanskrit, also in Urdu, or so many languages. Hmm? And in their uh, age of 16, 17, hmm? they were experts of all these things. Once, or oh, in the kingdom of Hussain Sahabasa, Mughal period, Hmm? Oh. He was the Basa king of that kingdom. And he was making a very high tomb from where tower or tomb, same thing. Not tomb, what is tomb? Oh. A tower, very high, giving a clock there, like church. Very hard. So he was making. And those who were the, the what, mission? Mission. mission. Oh, he was also there who was making. Then King told, oh, very good, this building, come tower is. Then the mission told that, oh, King, Oh, I can make better than this. Oh, you can make? Very good, very good. And he took him and he threw out from that very tomb and he was tired. Why? That he cannot do, he should not do any more better than this tower. So he was tired. And at once he became very angry. And he told, to his one of servant, not servant, officer. At once go and call. He could not understand to for what he is ordering and he at once, in fear, he ran away from there. 
But he was thinking that what he had told me to bring, to call. So, to save his life, he, he fled away from that and he went to a, a, another town. And he was very much worried. That what king, how I can fulfill the desire of that king? He saw that in a house, oh, uh, two brothers were there, very young, and they saw that oh, he was very glad. Then they called both boys. Oh, why you are so anxious? Oh, I am in very trouble, big problem. The king has ordered me to bring, but what I don't know. And if I will go, he will cut me at once. Then what that king was doing and where he was? He was on the top of tower and mission was there and he was telling something and he threw out that mission, mission from there and he was killed. And he was so angry and he ordered me out to bring. But I don't know what. Then he became to smile. They both told, oh, they will do. And they called very high class of nations and get to that person and told that you should take these two missions and go to king at once. Now he took the two missions and he went there. And he did pronounce. Oh, king was now laughing and smiling. Oh, I told you to bring, but I never told you, so I was so anxious. And where you went? <laughs> and how you brought you missions? Who told you? Oh, I went to that city out of your fear that you will kill me. Hmm? So, oh, two boys were there young, very energetic and very intelligent. They called me and they told, they asked me the reason why he is so much anxious. Then I told, at once they gave. Oh, oh, I want that you should go again and call the two brothers. Very intelligent, over intelligent. <laughs> and they called. And Rukhsanatan came. And he became very happy as he gave both posts for Prime Minister to Sanatana Goswami and named Shakkar Mallika, Shakkar Mallika. And second, Rupa Goswami, private secretary, more than that. And third, Anupam, he made the Artha Mantri, treasurer, treasurer. Finance, minister. Fa finance minister. And they were working. But when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Rupa Goswami, Rupa Mallika, Eh? Oh, Dabir Khas. Dabir Khas. <coughs> so they were working and that kingdom was developing. Well, so much. Reputation so much. King always dependent to them. But when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, after taking Sannyas, he was going to Vrindavan. In the way he came to Kaligram, that place. And they were very impressed. And Sanatana Goswami was very intelligent and he told to Mahaprabhu, Oh, this is no process to go to Vrindavan with thousands and thousands of devotees. Then you will have to manage them how to be there, how to take prasadam, how to host and how... Then how we can chant and... So this is not true. Better to go alone with any sajati abhyakti. Sajati, you know? Like mind. Like mind. Like mind. Then Mahaprabhu accepted this. And he returned back, but told that I want both you and Rupa and Sanatan, that quickly you should come out of the well of his stone. Don't be here. Very quickly. I'm going to Vrindavan just after some time. And I want that you should both meet in Vrindavan. Be with me there. Then, Rupa Goswami quickly, then Mahaprabhu went and he sent a message that I am coming to Vrindavan. Oh, you should meet me anywhere. But 
Rohu Goswami left everything and he went to his village and he quickly distributed all the wealth to Brahmins here and there and something he kept for for the education and for the maintenance of Ji Goswami at that time he was a very little baby. And something he took and kept in anywhere in that, oh, you should give, you should help by this money to Sanatan Goswami to come out of jail. This, oh, king, oh, has given all his responsibility to him. But Sanatan Goswami, when he meets, he was now renowned. <coughs> he began to boycott the council of kings and to do anything. So one day he was with devotees in his house and reading Srimad Bhagavatam. Some very learned scholar in Srimad Bhagavatam, they have come from Navadri and they were discussing about that. King sent some messenger that go and see what Sanatana is doing. Then he told that he is well, but telling that uh, oh, sickness. But he went himself and saw that Sanatana Goswami is quite well and discussing Srimad Bhagavatam. Then he rebuked him. Oh, you are my elder brother. I depend on you. I have given all responsibility. And here you are reading this book with this. He told that Prabhu, oh, now I cannot do this job. Please, you should make any other prime minister. He thought that Raja Mora Pritikara e Mor Bandhan, if Raja King has some love and affection, oh, this is my bondage. If my wife is so near and dear, oh, this is bondage. If your father loves so much you, then this is bondage. So, world like is this. Our all senses are our enemy, especially mind, uncontrolled mind. So he thought that he should be angry and he should be against me. And if it is not, oh, then I cannot go to Vrindavan and meet Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So, he made the king angry, but he told, I will keep you in your jail if you are not changed. And then I am going. If you are coming with me in battle of Odisha, you can come. Otherwise, you will have to be in jail for whole life. Then he put in jail. Then in this way, Rupa Goswami came with his, his brother and made him prayer. When he was meeting, then Sanatana Goswami, what did? He told to the uh, jail keeper, jailer, jail, jailer, that, oh, I have kept you on this post. So you are, you, you remembering you? I get that you post. So you are indebted. So I want that you should help me. Please take me out of jail. Told I cannot do. Oh, king, kill me. Then he gave some golden coins, seven thousand gold coins. Oh, he was greedy, but he was. Uh, in the meantime, Sanatan Goswami gave three more. Oh. Now ten lakh, ten thousand golden coins. And so, some water. Uh, then how, how how can I help you? Oh. <laughs> then Sanatan Goswami tell or tell the king that in the morning, very morning, I was going with him or with so many iron chain. iron chain, and he was to pass you stole. So on the bank of Ganges I was, with so many soldiers, you know, what? Cords. But at once he jumped in the Ganges and, oh, we cannot discover him, where he is. 
so perhaps he's died. You should tell me. I'm going to Makkah and Medina and I will not return from there. So he took that bribe and he... So what became of that? You know? Ah, yes, you know. If anyone wants to do bhajan, try to follow and do shanatam. How do they quickly begin up all this wealth and all attachment? Attachment is what? Very bogus thing. So give up all attachment. Then you can be shanatam. What we can? How he crossed the river and how he crossed the forest and went to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Om Gyan Sri Niranda Sri Gyan Anjan Shalakya Chakshru Nimilitam Yena Tasmai Sri Guruve Namaha So after Sanatan at that time later on to be known as Sri Sanatan Goswami when he was freed from the prison and he came across Ganges he chose in night, dark night <coughs> He chose to take not the main road and go through the dense forest. Then soon he came upon a place known as Pathar. That's some hill range there, some small mountains. So it's very difficult to cross that place. So in the night time, Srila Sanatan Goswami, with he, one disciple, yeah, he noticed. He noticed that. In that place, there was some people who were living. So he thought that maybe I can take shelter of them. So he went to these people and he requested to their leader if, he, if they could help Sanatan, Sanatan to go across this hilly track and reach safely to the other end. This person, he already had a friend who was a palmist. He could predict and he, he could know things because of his knowledge. So he had informed the leader that this gentleman who has arrived at this place has eight gold coins. So since this person was by his profession a dacoit and they're always greedy for money, so he was very happy to hear this news. This was without making any endeavor, the money has come to his place. So he offered very nice hospitable situation to Sanatan and told him that you can go and take bath in Ganges and we are giving you food stuff, you can do your cooking and you can stay overnight and then in the morning we can make arrangement that you can be taken uh, out from this hilly track. So Sanatan Goswami with his servant Ishan, he went and he took bath in Ganges and after taking his meal he was thinking because he is very intelligent and as we heard that he was at such a high position assisting the king. So we can have some idea how intelligent and wise Sanatan was. Now he was contemplating that this person, I have no relationship with him. So why is he being so nice to me? There must be some reason behind it. So he immediately inquired from his servant that do you have any money with you? And the servant replied, Yes, I have seven gold coins. So Sanatan said, Give it to me quickly. So he took those gold coins and he came to that gang leader and offered those seven gold coins to that dacoit. Who, upon seeing those gold coins, became very happy and he said, smilingly, Good, you did very nice, you are very intelligent. I knew already that you had eight gold coins and I had planned to kill you in the night while you will be sleeping. So you have saved me from committing great sin. I am very happy with you. You can keep these coins and I will make arrangement to take you out from the silly track because on religious grounds. Then Sunasan said, no, thank you very much. You should keep these gold coins because if you don't take from me, someone else will try to kill me for this. So you can keep it. So instead of waiting for morning, Sanatan Goswami with the help of that decoy 
the arrangements he made, he crossed over that hilly track and after coming out from that place, he immediately turned towards uh, his servant, Ishan, and he said, do you have anything more? And Ishan said, yes, I have one more gold coin. So he said, take this and you should go back. You're not qualified to be with me because you don't have full faith in Krishna. You are not surrendering completely. You still have some affiliation or sense of shelter towards money instead of completely 100% taking shelter of Krishna and being in situation as arranged by him. So after sending him away, Sanatana Goswami proceeded further and he came to a place called Hajipur. Hajipur. At that place, uh, he came to meet a, a person known as Shrikant, who is the husband of Sanatana's sister. When Shrikant, he saw Sanatana, he was very happy to meet him and he offered him a place to stay. And Srikant also was at that time employed at a very high position on behalf of king. He used to purchase horses for the king, so he had so much money. So he gave nice welcome to Snathan and Snathan prized him of all the events he went through, how he was prisoned and then he got released and now he was heading towards to meet Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Then Srikant tried that Snathan Prabhu should stay with him for another two, three days and also get dressed up because of traveling in the forest and not being able to eat properly. He was not very clean, he was dirty and everything, so he requested for that. Yeah. So, but Snathan refused. He said, no, I must immediately go to meet Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu because also in this situation it's not very safe for me, so I want to proceed quickly. Then. After so much insisting, Snathan accepted one quilt, very nice, good quality quilt from this uh, Srikant, and he marched forward to meet Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu at Varanasi. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. So he was well to meet Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And in the meanwhile, meantime, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to Vrindavan, and he was for some time there. And when he was in Vrindavan, he feared that if I am here, then all will know that I am Krishna. He was remembering all the places and he used to come in the form of Krishna there. So very soon he left that place and he was returning from there. And he was coming through Ganges. So when he reached in Prayag, after one, two days, and he was on the bank of Prayag, where three rivers of Triveni is there. In the meantime, lakhs and lakhs devotees coming to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Hari Bol and Hari Bol, all they can, all they can mad after Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, all. They were all uttering, Hari Bol, Hari Bol. Then in the meantime, Rup and Anupam, younger brother, oh, they saw that Mahaprabhu is surrounded by so many. So he was in a one corner waiting. And in evening, in the night, when Mahaprabhu was in a Brahmin's house, hmm? oh, Sanoria Brahman or anyone. And he was in a house and there lonely Rup and Unfamiliar. Mahaprabhu wanted to embrace them, but Rupa Goswami and his brother, oh, running away. Don't touch Prabhu, we are now Mohammedan, Muslim. And with, in the society of Muslims, we have become so much Muslims. So don't touch, we are untouchable. And Mahaprabhu was telling that, oh, I want to touch you for Krishna Bhakti. And he run away and he embraced him. And there, what he did, for so many days, here it is written, (coughs) 
He was very worried for Sanatana Goswami, Rup Goswami. Mahaprabhu told that don't be worried. He is in the way and he has come out from jail. Very soon he will meet me. And then <coughs> Mahaprabhu gave his remnants through his servant. Then both came to Osi Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. <coughs> hmm. Then Mahaprabhu was teaching, <coughs> giving his whole mercy to Ru and Anupam. <coughs> oh, nineteen Pachet Madha Lila, one fifteen. रूप गोस्वामी शिक्षा कुरान शक्ति संचारिय कृष्ण तत्व भक्ति तत्व रस तत्व प्राण सब सिखाइले प्रभु भागवत सिद्धांत हरि 19 चैप्टर अन 115 सब सिखाइले प्रभु भागवत फरिद मेनी Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhulila chapter 19, text 115, translation by Sri Srimad Eshi Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu taught Sri Rupa Goswami the ultimate limit of the truth about Lord Krishna, Krishna Tattva, the truth about devotional service, Bhakti Tattva, the truth about transcendental mellows, Rasa Tattva, Cons uh, consummating in conjugal love between Radha and Krishna. Finally, he told Rupa Goswami about the ultimate conclusions of Srimad Bhagavatam. Mm. Also, Rāyāramananda Pāsajyata Siddhānta Sunila Rupa Kripa Kari Sahasra What he has or discussed with Srila Rāyāramananda on the bank of Godavari all things top to bottom with explanation he gave in the heart of how he gave hmm? you know Prabhu Goswami heard it like Brahma heard from Narayan Chatosh Loki Bhagavad but he was not realizing hmm? so he told to Rupa Goswami all these things but how to realize all these things oh Mahaprabhu gave his hand get his lotus feet on the head of Rup and Anupam. And thus from his body of this power came automatically. And he realized what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has told all words he realized. Like he told that oh, the love and affection of gopis to Krishna. Oh, you should realize. And what we can? At once you realize. We can tell so many tattva, but not with a realization. Only Mahaprabhu can tell. Sometimes Narak can tell. Sometimes Sarukshanatan they can tell. Not all can come. So he inspired with his what? Energy. Energy came. So, the body and hands and from face of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He realized everything. Urupa Prabhu Shakti Sancharila. What? Shakti Sancharila? What meaning? He invested his potency in Rupa Goswami. That at once he should realize all these things. I may tell you that don't oh, take sweets, otherwise you have sugar disease. <coughs> Diabetes. But I cannot overpower you. Empower. Empower you. All are independent. But Mahaprabhu is wholesale. He can empower. So he empowers. And thus they realize both all these things. Hmm? 
सर्वतत्व निरूपी आप प्रवीण करीला ही बात श्री चैतन्य महापुरुष थोड़ रूपगत स्वामी all the conclusions he had heard from Ramananda Rai and duly empowered him so that he could understand them. By entering the heart of Rupa Goswami, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu empowered him to ascertain properly the conclusions of all truths. He made him an experienced devotee whose decisions correctly agreed with the verdicts of the disciplic succession. Thus, Sri Rupa Goswami was personally empowered by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Also, he met after that in Kashi, Dasasamit Ghat to Sanatam Gursan. Here also he stayed so many days and he did same thing to Sanatam So they are a oh, oh, high class of disciples of those of Sanatam Really they were. Hmm? So that's how he experienced so much, realized. Then all these things had been written by Kavi Karnapur. Who you know? Who you know? Kavi Karnapur, the son of Sivananda Sen. Oh, he was the what? No, no, Sivananda Sen. Oh, he was from Bengal, one of the highest class of devotee of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He used to guide all the Gaudiya Vaishnava to Jagannath Puri, uh, taking all the responsibility. Sometimes Anityananda Prabhu rebuked a man and gave him one stake on his head, or with his, his feet. But even he was so tall man, he told him. But his wife was so much upset. <laughs> but even oh, after that Nityananda Prabhu became all so sympathetical to him, so merciful to him. So his son was Kapikar. In childhood he was not speaking anything. His father brought him of this baby oh, and he kept it in the lot of feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu told that you should speak something. Hari bol, Hari bol. <laughs> Krishna, Krishna, but he was not. Then he was Sarup Damodar or anyone he was. Why? I made all whole world Hari bol, Hari bol, Krishna bol, Krishna bol, and this boy is not. Only. Oh. Then what? He told. <laughs> so he thinks that your this name is very mysterious. He then mantra, so he now. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave his toe in his mouth and he was shocking. <laughs> and at once now, oh, you should speak something, and he began to speak so high class of Sanskrit slow, with very difficult meaning, or oh, with so much ornamented long ways. All were very. He has written after that. Vrindavan, Ananda Vrinda Champu and so many books. She was very near dear, very lucky. He has written about these things, about Rupa Gursan. What he has written? Priya Sarupe, Daita Sarupe, Prima Sarupe, Sahajadhi Rupe, Nijanu Rupe, Prabhu Rupa Rupe, Satan Rupe, Svabila. Glorifying Rupa Gursan. Who is Rupa Gursan? To Mahaprabhu. What? Relation is there, so he has telling. What he has telling? Meaning? Text one to one. Indeed, Sri Rupa Goswami, whose dear friend was Swarup Damodar, was an exact replica of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and he was very, very dear to the Lord. Being the embodiment of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's ecstatic love, Rupa Goswami was naturally very beautiful. He very carefully followed all the principles enunciated by the Lord, and he was a competent person to explain properly the pastimes of Lord Krishna. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu expanded his mercy to Srila Rupa Goswami, just so he could render service by writing transcendental literatures. Now you shall prepare for drama. drama. 
and here. I will explain all these things and how they used to do bhajan in Vrindavan and their speciality, especially Aparo Goswami, will glorify tomorrow. Bhakti Minot Thakur, who is he? He is manifestation of Gadadhar Pandit. And who is Gadadhar? Gadadhar herself? Radhika. Hmm? So Bhakti Minot Thakur. In modern age, he is the one of the Goswami, Shaptam Goswami. Hmm? After Sar Goswami. Anyone we have not called Saptam. Hmm? But why Rup uh, Bhakti Minot Thakur was called? As Rup Goswami wrote so many books, his realization he wrote. Bhakti Vinod Thakur has written like that. And if he was not in this modern age, then Bhakti have gone to Golok Vrindavan, not in this world. So he has told, Krishna ra sansar kara, chari anachar, jive daya, Name Ruchi Sarvat Jive Daya Krishna Nam Sarva Dharma Shah Krishna Ra Sansar Kara Charyana Jiva Daya Krishna Nam Sarva Dharma Shah Like Rupa Goswami he told what he told he has told the essence of all the Sikhas. Uh, Teaching. Uh, teaching. That part. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. What is the meaning? The Give him one. Can you explain? Or oh, see, see. Can you? Go. Srila Rupa Goswami is writing in the eighth verse of Sri Upadesh Amrit, the essence of all instructions. No. It is essence of all. All Ved, Upanishad, Mahabharata, Gita. Chaitanya, Chaitanya, and everything essence of Vaishnava no literature given by the all oh, this is. All in one slok. Mm. Tanama Rupa Charitari Sukurtananu. The essence of all advice, he says, is that twenty four hours a day, day and night, one should very carefully chant the holy name, fame, form, pastimes and qualities of the Lord. And at the same time one should live in Vrindavan if not by body, then by mind. He should be under Better the dirt by in body. body. And if it's absolutely not possible, then at least by mind. One should be under the guidance of Krishna's associates from Goloka Vrindavan, and also those same associates takes forms as followers of those associates in this world. For example, one should be under the guidance of uh, Lalita Devi there, and one should be under the guidance of Swarup Damodar here. So, Tad Anugami, Tan Anuragi, Jan Anugami. And uh, step by step, one should chant in this very nice way, Sukhurtananu. But what does Su mean? This word, very nice, Su Kirtan, has a very deep meaning. According to the name one chants, one should think of the pastimes and qualities of that name and Krishna Smaram Janam Chasyam. Not only Krishna alone, but with his most intimate associates, especially those associates who are leaders 
of the service of my own Swarup. I should think about their Leela as I chant those names of Krishna and pray that I may enter into that eternal service. Thank you. But if anyone is not qualified so much and he has so many anaps, also he has something uh, attached to his body and worldly things. Hmm? And he is not free from worldly desires, sense, gratification, all these things. Then what he should do? Can he follow this shlok or not? He should not. Oh, you are wrong. What your Prabhupada is telling? You should read that. You should give him, you know, that very line. If anyone not even qualified, but he has some greed, for this. This is though he is not free from worldly desire. So many anath are there, but not aparadhi and not mayabadi associates. Hmm? Hmm? So, if he, what he is telling? This is the nectar of instruction. You try to give your ears there attention. The nectar of instruction by Śrīla Rūpa Goswami Pāda, text 8, in the purport of Śrīla A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupāda. Śrīla Prabhupāda is writing there. Again, Śrīla Rūpa Goswami states in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, Seva sadaka rūpena siddha rūpena chātohi tad bhāvalipsuna karja brajaloka anusārataha In the transcendental realm of braj, one should serve the Supreme Lord Śrī Krishna with a feeling similar to that of his associates, and one should place himself under the direct guidance of a particular associate of Krishna and follow in his footsteps. This method is applicable both in the stage of sadhan, spiritual practices executed while in the stage of bondage, and in the stage of sadhya, God-realization, when what, one is what? Siddha Purush. What? Again? This Method is applicable both in the stage of sadhan, spiritual practices executed while in the stage of bondage. What is mean? What he told? Or oh, don't try to sleep. Don't try. Try to listen very carefully. Here, Srila Prabhupada is explaining that this practice is applies to a devotee who is still in the state of what bondage. Process? What process? This process that is being outlined in the in the verse of Upadeshamrita hmm. that this applies not only to the devotee who is a liberated devotee but also to a devotee who is in a state of bondage who still has an artist's attachment to the material body and other material desires. Oh, this is the what? No, no. Oh, this is uh, difference of opinion between myself and this. All leaders of his corn. All, all. They are of opinion. A man who is liberated only, and he is in Golok, then they can do. But I follow Swamiji totally. I follow totally him. I cannot go a hair here and there. A straight line. So I don't know whether they have read or not. They read or not. They should know. And they should be in his. Swamiji line, if they are not falling, really they are not disciples of Swamiji. But from beginning, from beginning, I have come only to glorify Him and to be line and to also to help you to that you should be in His line. Don't direct. Those who are not in His line, now they have gave up chanting and um, 
in the lust they are drowning, drowning and they are not following him so i want to help you to be your in the line of your guru dev and also to you all in our proper line of sila roop goswami he has told for all all hmm? so roop goswami you can think that his manifestation of sila gaur sundar sachinandan gaur hai he gave his everything in him hmm? ras tattva sadha tattva sadhan tattva krishna tattva oh oh prem raj everything he and told i will be silent i will be always in mood i cannot do if i tell cry or i become senseless how can i do but i am giving this power that you will not be in front no never and never and you should preach it boldly here and there and he did so like this sana uh, um, bhakti vinod thakur is like that <coughs> he was inspired by sri rup goswami rup goswami by chaitanya mahaprabhu his gaur shakti so he can do like this and that is why he told same thing in new boat house krishna ra sansar kara chhari anachar jive daya कृष्ण नाम सर्वधर्म वट इज द मीनिंग कृष्ण ने संसार कर यू शो ट्राई टू मेक ए संसार ऑफ कृष्ण नॉट योर फैमिली संसार वॉट संसार फैमिली ऑफ कृष्ण योर वेल्थ योर बॉडी योर सेंसेस योर ऑल माइनेस यू शुड यूज इन कृष्ण If you are doing, oh, this is good. Thing. Don't think that, oh, I should be renounced. I should give this. I should give all this my position, my wealth, and everything to bogus persons. I should be doing, and I should be naked like this. Oh, you cannot serve Krishna. Nothing to. nothing to for our enjoyment and nothing to be renounced to give up nothing nothing is yours that you can give up if guru dev gave you oh one pair of his sandal wooden sandal you should take it if he wears in his feet or it is often understand and if he throws out i have no need then what is more of it what he should do or sip like guru dev he should take the sandals on his head sometimes with tear sometimes on heart oh my guru dev like like bharat ram sandu and if he throws out he is guilty he is offensive and if he we are so what you have try to make a what sansar of krishna by all means like pandavas more than that oh gopis gops nand baba man nand baba sometimes he is more uh, tyagi renowned than even nor and sukadev goswami sukadev goswami left his everything and he became renounced and what he did nand baba his wife is serving krishna his brothers are upananda and all are serving him his wealth is serving krishna his mind is serving krishna is sense of source of his krishna oh so he is superior so nag nag will come and in mind he will do pranam to shastang pranam 
lakhs and lakhs times two, Nanda Baba and Nityo Shuka. Nothing to give up. So Krishna and Sansar Kara, where is um, what meaning, deep meaning? So you can do Krishna and Sansar, but don't try to enjoy, enjoy yourself that this is my. <coughs> So Krishna is Sansarkara. Really in real sense. Krishna is Sansarkara Chari Anachar. Chari Anachar means? Bad habits. So, give up all kinds of anarts very strongly. You should take the favorable things of God. And very strictly you start give up what is not favorable for bhakti. Even most of our what? Dear beloved dear. wife, children, wealth, reputation, anything, friends even. Like Sanatan Goswami, Rup Goswami, Raghunath Das Goswami. Chari anachar. Don't take, do anything which is anachar, which is against acharan, bhakti acharan. And then second line, chari anachar, jive daya. If he is madhamadhikari, he should have very, what daya means? Compassion for them. Oh. Without self gain, if any money is not self gain, does not want, then he can do anything. Only he is crying bitterly, Swamiji, our Gurudev, Srila Prabhupada, Bhakti Vinodha, always crying for general person who are engaged in sense gratification. How should I help them? And always doing for them. You know, Narottam Thakur, he was giving up this world and even that, what he was doing was preaching. Even he gave sannyas to Brahmins, being in what cost? Kaista. Some law. So all began to tell him <coughs> that he is initiating Brahmins and that is why he has become paralyzed. Then his disciples requested him, Prabhu, don't play this game, otherwise all will be against you. And they will tell that he is offensive in Brahmins and that is why he has become paralyzed. He Quickly at once he became oh, all right and he used to walk from five, six miles to Ganges and going there, taking bath and chanting, remembering. Then they wondered how it became. He was paralysis and he was about to die and now he is quite all like young boy. Then they came and they take also all initiation from him and they um, took forgiveness from him. And after again he became like that. And he left his body. <laughs> but Thakur like this. He also. Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur like this. He played like him. And he seems that they are dead, but not dead. With that body, all oh, the transcendental body, they go there. And so, the Krishna Sansar Kaur Chari Anachar Jive Daya. Always passionate, compassion. compassion for all Jivas. How they will have bhakti? How I should help them? How should I engage them in bhakti? If Bhakti Vinod Thakur was not in this 
age he was he, they are in this world. Oh, we have not come to in this, this line, never. Then where Śrīla Prabhupāda and where our Guru Dev and where Śrīla Bhakti Vedāṁ Swāmī Mahārāj. And then how preaching in the whole world? Nothing. So Bhakti Vinod Thakur is the main person. Pioneer. Eh? Pioneer. 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 Yes, like in this age, following the line of Rupa Goswami Mahaprabhu. So, Jiva Daya Krishna Naam. Oh, you should always give impression to, importance to this name. Name is himself, what? Radha and Krishna. More superior in some cases, their mercy and all powers are in name. So you should not think that, oh, I should chant only shift in, uh, shift in. No. Never. Go on doing. Don't miss to do your Guru mantra. All. Always you should try it. Follow the process. Don't want to jump. If you are jumping, if you don't want to uh, climb on a tree from roots and you want to climb on the head, then what will you? Your head will be down and feet will be up and you will turn down. So try to begin from where? Bako Vegam, Manasa Krodha Vegam, Jiva Vegam Udaro Pasta Vegam, Etan Vegan Javitahe Tadira, Sarvam of Imam Prithavisha. So, you should read all this. Begin from beginning. And then Krishna will be merciful. And this is the power. Go, Prima. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I request that we are after tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is our last day. Uh, that after tomorrow we are going to Washington and New Vrindavan. No? Yes. So, you should discuss how to do or gradually. So, I request. Prominent persons, devotees, especially the devotees, uh, the disciples of Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj, oh, they should be with me there. Yeah.